Hello, sports fans and baseball fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm going to talk about a recent video that ID Jester put up. Uh, I will put a link to the video in the description so that you can watch the video yourself. I highly encourage everybody to go check it out. Um, so anyway, um, ID Jester... He does a, I think he does a series of these types of videos where he does a, uh, he does a, you know, gives you five good things or some number of good things and some number of bad things about a certain game. And then he does, he, he uh, gets a final judgment, uh, gives his final judgment on the game. And in this particular case, we're going to talk about Stratomatic Baseball because you know, I'm a big Strat guy. You watch my channel nearly everything on it is if it's game related it n nearly all the time it's stratomatic every once in a while i sprinkle in some other games but stratomatic is the big one on my channel and i have been playing stratomatic baseball since i was 13 years old and i am now closing in on 58 so for a while so um, anyway, I wanted to talk about his uh, video and uh, what he had as the five good things that he thinks uh, about Stratomatic Baseball and the five bad things. And I will give my commentary on those things. And some of them I agree with. In fact, really pretty much everything that he says in the five good things I'm certainly going to agree with, but there is a slight difference uh, of opinion on something that I would, uh, the way I would have set that up. But anyway, let's get into it. Uh, first, let's go over the five good things. The good things that ID Jester likes about Stratomatic Baseball. Now, the first one is game flow. And certainly, if you've played Stratomatic Baseball, you know that the game flow is very good. I mean, I'm, I like payoff pitch. And um, there's some other games like uh, Status Pro Baseball that I've played, but the game flow of Stratomatic Baseball I think is a lot is is a lot better than probably any other board baseball game, card and dice board baseball game that I've seen. So I agree with him on that one. That is it, it is a nice feature of Stratomatic Baseball, and really uh, there are other Stratomatic games. Uh, now I'm going to, he had two and three, he had, um, two things that are related and I'm going to get into how I would, um, you know, how I would have handled it differently. But, uh, number four is card font. And, um, well, actually I think his number four was advanced and super advanced, but I'll talk about the card font and I'll talk about, you know, super advanced and advanced. So, yeah, he likes the card font. He likes the fact that the cards are, are a nice size, um, and they are. They're among the biggest in the industry, and they do have, uh, they're easy to read, and the font is, um, is nice. They changed it slightly two or three years ago, but yeah, it's good. And the fact that the game has a basic version, an advanced version, and a super advanced version, depending on how into the weeds you want to get with your gameplay on baseball and obviously yes that's a good thing um in fact i really like the basic version uh but everybody wants to see you know at least advanced so that's what i i do on my channel um but i i was always a big fan of the uh, of the basic and for years that's all stratomatic had they only had the basic version that's all you could play. And really, I think if you if you were to play this the, uh, the game, let's say you could play every team and you had the time to play every team throughout a season, for an entire season using basic, I think the results would more or less come out in the wash and it would be pretty much, you know, what it really would have been. Um, if you, uh, you know, if you had played the, the advanced or the super advanced. But yeah, that's a good feature. Now, he had two other things that I would actually lump together. Um, he said that the, uh, 
He liked the uh, the range plays and the error plays because you know the range plays you have a number of things that can happen and the error plays you know you can get a one base error you can get a two base error. I would kind of put those together, especially in the advanced game. You uh, you know they they basically kind of you know go hand in hand. You you refer to a chart and. Um, it's either uh, an error or a, uh, you know, or a base hit or something. So, I would have put those two together. But yeah, I mean, I like the. I think those are those are a good feature of the game. They're more easily resolved in Stratomatic than they are in some other games. Um, and even like a game like uh, Payoff Pitch doesn't really have those things happen nearly enough. And Stratomatic, it, it seems to happen about the right amount of time. So, um, yeah, that's a good feature, and uh, I agree with him on that. I just would have put the two together. Now let's get into his five bad things about Stratomatic Baseball. And I will be agreeing with him, especially on number one. Number one is card quality. He is absolutely dead on about the card quality. It's terrible. They said they improved it a couple of years ago. Um, they may have improved it, but not by a lot, not by a noticeable amount. I think they said they made it a little thicker, and I think somebody actually had a video where he used some calipers, and he was able to show that they did. They are using thicker cardstock, but only like by I don't even want to guess. But it's not really, it isn't good. The card quality is not good. The cards do stick together a lot. He is right. You have to play a certain team or a certain number of teams a, a certain number of times before you will um, end up in a situation where the cards easily move one after the other. And, you know, you're always doing that in Stratomatic Baseball. So he, he's dead on about that. Um... Now, uh, one thing that he uh, didn't like is the charts. Now, I don't know if I'm really on board with this um, because, you know, what he said is that the charts are long. They're all different. They're kind of like a weird uh, size and shape. They're long, and, uh, like, if you wanted to laminate them, it would be very difficult to laminate them. Uh, so he doesn't like that. He would like to see something more like, um, you know, like a notebook quality something. You know, something that's easier you could put um, into a, um, that you could, you know, that you could laminate, that you could put into a notebook or something like that. Um, really, that's not a problem for me because the charts don't get referred to quite as much, I think, as... Um, it has to be really a problem. Um, and he says you have to play the game a lot of times to get a feel for what might happen. Now, that's true on errors and, you know, base hits and range and stuff like that. But, you know, like the ground balls, the fly balls, you play it a couple of times, you know what a fly ball A is, you know what a fly ball B is. That's not a big deal. In fact, really, that chart, the fly ball chart and sacrifice chart, I find I don't really even refer to it very much at all. Uh, it's usually the air and, um, you know, the air base hit, ch the X charts that I refer to. So he is right. They are kind of weirdly um, shaped and sized, but I don't think that's intentional. I just think that's the way that Strat felt it was best to get everything on the charts, you know. So I don't have a problem with that, really. Um, the rating system. He doesn't like the rating system. Um, you could go back and watch, um, you know, his discussion about the uh, rating system because it was kind of, it was a little hard for me to follow, but I mean, you know, I, I, I kind of get it, but I think I'm good with it. I, I, I like their rating system. I don't think there's a real issue with it there. So, um, you know, he doesn't like that. He thinks it could be better. Um, I don't know that it's any... 
I, you know, I don't know that it's any worse than like in um, um, Payoff Pitch or um, Status Pro. So, yeah, I'm fine with the rating system. Now, another thing that he brought up, and I, another thing that I do agree with him on, is that they don't have every single player. You, if if you order just the base set, you're only going to get about 20 or 21 or 22 players per team. If you order the extended set, you'll get another, you know, whatever, seven, eight, nine players, uh, ten players for the team. But there is no circumstance under which you can possibly order every single player that play. For instance, somebody with five at bats. Usually, Stratomatic is not going to ever make a card of a guy that had five at bats. And he correctly points out that those guys are in the computer game. So, if you want that guy's card to play the, um, you know, to play that card through a season, you have to actually buy the computer game, go look at that card, and then make it yourself. Recreate it somehow yourself by hand to include it. And he's right about that. That is an issue because if you're going to, to me, if you're going to make an extended set, why don't you just add all the guys that had five at bats, the pitchers that had two innings pitched? Why not just throw them in? I mean, you have this big extended set that you're going to sell to people. I don't know why you can't add those, those players as well and give every single player. For instance, payoff pitch. Again, we go back to payoff pitch, has every player that played for the team. Um, so, yeah, that is uh, that is kind of, I don't understand why they don't do it, and they really should do it. Now, uh, the last one that he had is something bad. And I do agree with him on this as well. It seems like no matter what product you buy from Stratomatic, uh, how you use it, whatever, there's always some kind of an issue, like with the board game, you know, we pointed out, you've got the card quality problem, you've got the I can't get every player problem, with uh, the um, with uh, Baseball Max, he pointed out, um, he had a video where he pointed out several um, issues with uh, the game, uh, the Baseball Max game. Some of them I didn't run into, but I mean, the ones I've run into is I have had games freeze up on me where they just, the game just stops. You hit for the next batter, that next batter never comes up, and the game just stops right there, and there's nothing you can do. You have to just get out of the game and restart it. I have also had where you, uh, they don't have every player for whatever reason. I don't know why they don't have every player's card in every season. But every once in a while, you'll play a game, and it'll just have a blank screen, and it says, whatever, the player's card is not available. So, you know, again, I don't know why, but yes. And I've also had people, I haven't personally had a problem with the customer service, but I have had people that have said they have called the company because of issues that they've had, and boy, some of those stories are the worst horror stories I've heard about, um, you know, dealing with a game company trying to solve, you know, a problem that you have. So, yes, there is, it does seem there's always something bad connected with whatever product you're going to get. Um, and that's probably true of, um, you know, every one of their games, but certainly it is for baseball. So, uh, anyway, um, he, he went through all of those items, and he rated Stratomatic on a scale of, I believe, 1 to 100. He rated it a 71. Now, because of the fact that I disagreed with him on a couple of things on his bad list, um, I would say I would give it more like... I would probably give it more like an 80 on a scale of 1 to 100. I think I'd be at 80. But yeah, you do have the issues 
that a lot of the issues that he pointed out and I 100% agree with a couple of them. Um, so, yeah. I, I'd be at 80. Uh, Jester's at 71. But, uh, you know, good game. I like it. So, uh, anyway, um, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, if you've seen the video, uh, you know, let me know if you think I'm... Uh, you know, right to um, differ with him on things that I differed with him on or whether you think he was dead on with pretty much all of his points. So, uh, other than that, that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.